With Harmony 1 breaking out of a triangle, what is next for the one coin? Guys, in this video, we're going to jump down into some brief technical analysis on Harmony 1, specifically talking about the recent price action of the one coin. Guys, as we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe? Tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with all that said, done out of the way, let's actually jump down into the charts and talk about what's going on here with Harmony 1. Um, as you can see, we are on the daily chart. This is just where we like to start off with uh, in this video, doing this brief technical analysis to talk about the patterns that are forming here and what the price expectations are. Um, in yesterday's video, we were talking about uh, specifically the ABCDE triangle, um, Elliott Wave triangle that's been appearing on the hourly. We're going to get into that in a moment and the breakout from there. Um, on this daily chart, we also spoke about the potential of pushing up to 96 and a half cent. This is based on the trend Okay, so basically this fib is your fib extensions and it runs from the low of two, the higher three down to wave four and um, these impulsive waves that we've been tracking for a while. Okay, so uh, ultimately that um, that kind of pattern of trend that we've been seeing here on this daily chart shows us moving up to 96.5. I think that's the true maximum level. We might wick to that dollar, but it'll be very, you know, top at that point. Um, so, of course, the standard fib, if we actually take hold of our standard Fibonacci, we actually take this from the top of wave three. Um, down to wave four, or the bottom of wave four, this actually shows us moving up to 79.9 cent. And again, that's where I'm pretty much most comfortable. That's about a 305% move from the current position that we are today right now at the point of recording the video. Okay, so 79.9 cent or 80 cent for, for those people who may be new to the space and want to make sure you lock in your profits. That seems to be a pretty sensible area. For more seasoned traders, uh, you know, who want to kind of push a little bit more, get a little bit extra out of the tank, then you're looking at these trend-based Fibonacci extensions and that's again looking at 96 0.5 cent and um, so overall some pretty interesting targets but obviously this video is more about the most uh you know recent kind of price action right so those are long term that is end of year beginning of uh 2022 right the end of the bull run right that's what we're kind of thinking about 79.9 cent and 96.5 cent that's the end game okay and um, but what we're talking about next is going to be where we are right now and obviously we're taking a look at the patterns that we've seen kind of play out now obviously we do have that cup and handle we've been talking about this for a while again here's your cup let me just bring this down onto the lower area here here's your cup um, and again you've been forming that handle and we um, basically are looking um, to basically just consolidate it down a little bit actually let me just see if we can break that break through here we pull the handle down okay so we had the cup and handle really pushing up nicely had that triangular wedge just form at the top here and now we're looking for the break now this particular triangular wedge if i actually draw it in a straight line which i apparently i cannot um, let me just draw that. There we go. Um, basically, this is then targeting our 33 to 34 cent zone. Okay, so if um, we actually have that kind of marked out, I think um, on the smaller time frames, we'll have a look at it in a moment. But basically, if I grab hold of my horizontal ray, make sure that we mark this up uh, appropriately. It's roughly approximately in this area here. Okay, so what we're looking to do is basically take um, this explosive uh, move out of our triangular wedge out of our Elliott wave triangle and now and target this 33 cent zone 33 to 34 cent okay that's the kind of the break from the cup and handle pattern and obviously this cup and handle pattern is in line with what's been going on on the smaller time frames right because often we often make sure that we we are referencing the right timelines so the time zones in this case it's a daily for the cup and handle where you can see it in a little bit clar more clarity the weekly actually shows the cup and handle again a little bit neater you can actually see it pretty neatly on our uh <laughs> on our weekly right along with those five impulse waves that we've been tracking right nice cup and handle now we're getting back to that neckline we're looking for that explosion to about 33 to 34 cent okay and um, obviously the daily allows us to see the the kind of moves inside of there so we can break that down into impulse waves etc and then obviously the next step which is where we get down into the nitty gritty of it which is the hourly um, but before we do that we want to jump over to the avide.io dashboard and um, anyone who's unfamiliar there's a link in the description below do sign up it's completely free and you're going to get more clarity on your cryptocurrencies avide.io they use machine learning and artificial intelligence to help us understand the underlying value of cryptocurrencies in this example we're going to be taking a look at harmony one to see exactly what is going on with the underlying data that you don't normally see from inside charts so overall, we actually pulled down a rating, guys. Um, so yesterday we were in A2, today we're in A3, right? So what does this mean? Well, basically, it means that something has changed in the underlying data and we're potentially slipping down the rankings a little bit. We're still top tier in the top 
three, um, you know, basically A1, A2, A3, right? The best rating we've ever seen is an A2. That's where Harmony was yesterday. And right now we're just slipping down to an A3. Still top tier, nothing overly concerning. And we're going to get into what's actually going on here and why we slipped down the rating a little bit. And um, so what we're doing is come down into a little bit more of the clarity and the detail on this one. So what we have is the fear and greed index. Okay, and that fear and greed index, guys, is a B1 rating. So no longer are we in that extremely greedy area. Those profits have been taken. This is something that we're talking about whilst we're inside that triangular wedge, right? That Elliott wave triangle was profit taking. And now that profit has been taken. We're back into neutral. We're not greedy. We're not fearful. We're ready to take the next step to the upside. The sharp ratio is still an A2. Again, a slightly pulled back with everything that's been going on with that triangle. And now we've had the break from it. And um, basically still above the 50 day average, looking very good. The rewards do outweigh the risks. Uh, and again, like I said yesterday in yesterday's Harmony video, ultimately seasoned traders are looking to lock in those profits when it's incredibly fearful. And obviously when they do this, you start to see the pullback, which is natural and fine. And again, it lines things up ready for the next step to the upside. Now, obviously here we have the uh, profitability in A1. Um, it's outperformed many cryptocurrencies currencies in the space. Bitcoin only 1,600% um, during the kind of first leg of the bull run. Um, Harmony One here is over 18,000. We often talk about this on the channel. Ethereum's only 5,000. XRP's 18,000. Um, ADA, 14,000, right? So Harmony One has performed incredibly well. This is indicated inside this chart just here with an A run rating. The moving averages up there in A2, not a problem with that. And liquidity is still an A2 rating. The only difference, guys, and why we've dropped down a rating from A2 to A3 is that the fear and greed index has slipped out of that extremely greedy area down to a neutral area. And the uh, moving, um, sorry, the sharp ratio has just dropped down in line with that uh, drop in the fear and greed index. Otherwise, the sentiment's looking pretty good, pretty neutral. And again, we are now in a pretty good position still with our sharp ratio. Profitability is looking good. Moving averages are good. Ami had is good. No problems really to report with the underlying data. Although we've dropped down a rating, this is actually looking pretty good. And I'm not concerned over being an A3 rated cryptocurrency. So knowing that we got the cup and handle here ready for the break to the upside targeting 33 to 34 cent and obviously knowing that this is a part of a bigger move towards the 79.9 cent if you're comfortable uh, or wanting to kind of lock in your profits and you're new to the space or even tempting to push up to that 96.5 cent area that dollar level for harmony and um, that's a quite good long-term kind of prospects as we look take a look down into those lower levels this is where we start to talk about what's been going on most recently with that triangular wedge right um, and if we cut the break from it so what we had is this huge impulse wave to the upside okay um and uh, this is really easy to see on our daily right huge impulse here as we start to push up to the top of our cup um, and then obviously we start to pull back down now this pullback that we see uh, is a part of our a b c d e right so basically we pull back from uh the top here uh, which was our all-time high we then trigger into an a b here c we move up to a D and we came down to an E. Now, what we were talking about yesterday was a potential to come back down lower, but we actually did complete an ABC move and um, basically completing this E here and now allowing us to break. And as you can see, we broke the triangle, we pushed on up and we're back testing. Okay, and now this is a part of a bigger move. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you exactly what that looks like. Let's grab hold of my ABC, right? So um, basically what we ended up with was a big AB. I'm going to, might not, it's not going to be accurate, guys, as I do this because I want you to see the, the actual... Um, the moves here uh, it is right here so we pulled up we pulled down we completed the b wave um, and then as we come back into another a b c to the downside we go for a big one this time a b and c and then again we can repeat repeat this process for the next wave we go a b and c uh, and again we come back one uh, final time here uh, which is where we were yesterday we pushed up we pulled back and then we broke out. Now, this is followed up with uh, basically impulse waves. Okay, so we have uh, impulse wave one, we pulled back for two, we look for three, we'll pull back for four, and then we'll go up for five. Okay, and again, we are targeting up these really high areas. Now, where we actually end up going up, we might go past the all time high, back test with wave four on the previous uh, all time high, and then maybe we'll push up to that kind of 33 cent area um when it comes to that fifth wave right so if i actually zoom out you can kind of see that kind of break to the upside here in a really big way from our abc um or where our abcde our uh, elliott wave triangle and then breaking up pushing up towards the completion of the cup and handle pattern at 33 to 34 cent okay and then basically from here we'd have another abc correction wave coming back down um in the same way that we were here then potentially triggering another potential triangle uh, uh, anyway triangle or a different pattern altogether we'll have to analyze that 
as time progresses. Um, something in wave four could also be a bit of a hindrance. We'll have to watch that one to see how that plays out. But otherwise, we're looking pretty bullish here on, on Harmony One. Everything's looking pretty good. Now, obviously, outside of these patterns on the charts, what else is actually going on? Well, we can take a look at the recent pullback here with Harmony One. We can take a look, of course, at our stochastic RSI, right? And we can see that we're heading into the oversold area right now. Okay, so again, this is looking pretty good. Um, and basically, we're going to go into this oversold area, but I do anticipate maybe a little bit of a pullback, um, at basically ahead of uh, pushing up into this third wave in a nice strong way before we start to see another big correction here. Um, so again, in this um, wave two, we'll be looking to see if there is going to be an ABC correction to the downside, looking for that lower uh, area potentially, and then pushing up with five impulse waves. Um, for our third wave with an ABC in our fourth wave and um, pushing up into the five impulse waves within our fifth wave, right? So ultimately, everything here is playing out quite nicely. Um, and, you know, it's looking pretty good as we continue that growth to the upside overall for Harmony 1. If we are ever in doubt, best to cheat and actually zoom on out. Pay attention to what is going on with that weekly chart, right? The weekly chart, if you zoom out, actually gives you the structure of everything that's going on here with big impulse waves to the upside. As you can see that we're basically now heading into the third impulse wave for our fifth, a bigger wave. Okay, and then this would then obviously lead into a fourth wave correction before actually topping out the bull run and um, potentially at the end of the year, beginning of quarter one, 2022. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good and a good sh uh, kind of stride to the upside overall uh, and obviously good targets that are associated with it. So if we ever get too lost in what's going on with the hourly charts, maybe even the daily charts, zoom out to the weekly, get that structure, pay attention to the bigger picture overall and you're going to be pretty good and understanding where we are going longer term. Guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found it, useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything and that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one